move on to, uh, I think what I'll do next is the tree over here because it's a long old job and I'd like to get it started so that we can bring it down uh, not necessarily around the people but certainly bring it down a bit we've also got a distant tree to put in which um, comes here so we'll be putting that in on top of the blue so we'll be able to see uh, a much more subdued uh, look to it what we've done with the sky rubbing out we're going to do the same with the trees. Let me show you how this works. I've already started up there and you can see how that's coming along. Now what we want to do is to come up here. Now, not only design your own cloud, you can design your own tree. But we want to leave some of that blue there because that will help us when we come to do to have the sky looking through. We can add more on if we want to but I think it's quite nice to do that. Okay, now that's that's this this side of the tree. Over here, though, we've got a slightly different kettle of fish. What we've got to do is put the tree on top of the sky. Now, this is not going to be easy, but it's going to be great to do because the sky colours underneath will influence the colour that we're going to put on, giving it a recession. Now, let me just start here. I'll show you how this is going to work over here. Now what I'm using is the uh, 172, which is a greeny grey anyway, and it's one I use a lot when I'm just when I'm putting distant trees in. Once again, leave some of the blue that you've got there coming through. Now this isn't going to look that great until we do the other trees, and then you'll see how good that is. And that is just about perfect. I don't think I want to do any more at the moment because um, this is now going to sit nicely behind this uh, building here. But we will be putting ochre on and other colours as we go on. But I don't want it to in interfere with this lovely little area here, which I love. Now, what about over here? Well, we've got lots of choices because we really haven't put the tree in yet. Uh, I did put it very roughly, but that's gone now. So what we can do now is come out the other side of that and then just think, hmm, do I want it to come up here? Yep, yeah, I do. Okay, so once again, leave some of the sky showing through. A little break would be nice like that. So it goes back into the tree. Uh, it's all about design. Now, because you're going on top of these colours, this colour is not rich. If it was over here, look, see how rich that is? But it's not because, don't worry about that, we'll, uh, we'll disguise that later on. And I don't, now the other tree I want to put in comes up here. You see those heavier lines? So what we're doing now is we're coming into the other tree. Now the other tree will be stronger than this, it will look stronger. And, uh, I don't know whether I've got very much more here. I'm quite happy to have this forward tree being the dominant one. So you can just do a little more of this. Now, whenever you're doing a picture, especially a picture which I'm not copying, uh, 90% of this is made up. It's um, the only bit I haven't made up is the actual building. Oh, and the, the little characters, but I've pinched bits and pieces from other pictures as well. That's why I can't show the original picture that, that I used. Now, I like that. I think that looks pretty good. It gives me an opportunity to have branches in there later on. And you know, what I'm now thinking about doing is, is how am I going to fashion this next tree, which is coming up next. So, do I like that? I do. I think it's great. But now we've got to think about a little bit about ochre. I think what I'll do is I'll put the yellow ochre, this is 183, and I want to put that, I don't want to put it all over, but I just want to influence the, the colour that we've got there. Once again, because it's going on top of these other colours, it will be somewhat subdued. Well, 
And that's great. Now we want a darker colour because that's just too light in places. And the ideal dark colour for this one is 174. So let's put 174 in. And what we're looking for now is to put a bit of depth in. I don't know whether we're going to need any darker. We may do. It depends on what happens with the, the other tree. And you can just come and spot it around. Don't put it everywhere because otherwise you'll lose the tree that you've already established. That's good enough. Okay, now the um, the light is coming from, hang on, which, which direction is it coming from? I have to think about this for a minute. Um, it's coming from this way. I've got three or four different references and they all point the different ways. So I'm going to have the light coming from here. It's obvious if you look at the clouds anyway. Which means all of this here side of the tree will be light and all of this side of the tree will be dark. Which means we can then do something quite fantastic here. Let me just show you. Um, because I can I can advance it then once I've showed you how it's how it works. I want to get rid of the white just here. Take that out as well while I'm about it. Now I also want to get rid of it here. Not all of it because we'll be coming back into you know, interfering with that cloud. We want some light put back in. Now this now links up with what we've got up here. So what's so magical? Well what's magical is 174 which we're just using this tree now. You can see the difference that that makes now. This is the darker tree going on top of the lighter distant tree. And I'll make good all of this. I'm just going roughly down here just to show you how this can be achieved now. In here as well. And once again this tree can't be too regimental. It's got to have And, and I can use darker colours for that later on. But what I wanted to show you is how that now that tree now stands away and stands back. What I'm going to do is use the um, what am I going to use my I think I'll use my 175 here. And 175 in here. Now you've got to do this quite lightly, but we want to put in some branches. This makes such a difference. I'm sure you'll agree. The lighter you make it, the better it will be. I don't think we can come any further than that. Let's just have a... And maybe one or two in here. I didn't put any one seven four in here, did I? I don't think I did. Anyway, I put some more in. Now this is also going to have the same idea here, so this is going to be a little darker on the outer edges because the light's falling from this side, so it's a good idea to, while you think of it, to do it. And once you get those branches in there, you can then see much, much clearer your shapes of your tree. Same with that. Now I'm going to leave that alone. I think that looks good. So let's let me carry on here. I've got to do all of this now. And what I'll do is I won't use this colour. I shall use 168. So 168. And that will go in. And I'll start developing the foliage up there. Long job. And eventually they'll meet together. It doesn't mean to say because I've got the black green I don't ever use the 174. I do of course. And the ochre. 
like that. And put a little bit of ochre in as well. Now this gives you a lighter edge to that tree. Okay, and we'll be putting lots and lots and lots of colour in here. Got to because it's got to make I've got to make that look attractive. But it's the tree that is going to take the time up. And once we get down level to probably the top of a friend's head here, then we'll cut cut back because I really need to do the building before I finish the tree off here. So this is the first job. And the other thing we've got to think about, and I will be thinking about, is putting some branches in here and tree so you'll see the branches you it's no good just filling it all up with foliage you've got to have branches in it as well 